This is the Groove Life wallet. It's made of metal. And has a cool little slide feature. But is it any good? Does it protect your cards? Those are the questions I have about this wallet. Let's get into it. What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kendrick Dish, and mostly on this channel we talk about the cool things that we digital creators like and love, like bags and cameras and software. Uh, sometimes wallets. Now Groove Life uh, sent me this wallet. They sent me this wallet to test out and review for this channel. The reason they sent me that is because I talked in a previous video when I reviewed the Nomadic wallet, the little thin wallet, I talked about how I needed to start carrying a wallet in my front pocket because the chiropractor said carrying a thick wallet in your back pocket is bad for your hips. So um, I'm interested in the thin wallet. The Nomadic wallet is pretty cool, but it has some cons, including it kind of tears up the, uh, the cards. They're not well protected. So when uh, Groove Life contacted me and said, hey, are you interested in, in reviewing this, uh, trying out this metal wallet? I was like, well, that's the complete opposite of the Nomadic wallet. It's, uh, it protects your cards. So anyway, I wanted to, they sent me two of them. One of them I'm gonna give away. The giveaway is, is in the link in the description, so check that out. So first off, it comes in a labeled, uh, in a customized box. You open this up and it's pretty well packaged. It comes in its own little box like so. And you open this up. Very nice photography also. Very, very nice product photography. And then it's inside of a metal box. Okay, a little bump on it says Groove Life. Take off that cover and you are presented. It's almost like it's a, a watch. Their, present, their presentation is almost like a watch. They're presenting it in a way that makes you feel like it's special. And you take it out and you're left with a, uh, a little metal box. We don't need to look at that anymore, but this is the Groove Life metal wallet. Now let's get, a, let's get the elephant in the room out of the way real quickly. It's, it's made of metal and it's pretty heavy. So if being made of metal and being heavy sounds like a deal breaker for you, then you might as well just skip the rest of this review. But there are some good reasons why a, 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 a wallet that's made of metal is, is pretty good. The main wallet is the metal part, and it comes with a potential add-on of either a money clip or this leather additional card holder slot and a cat an elastic band that can hold the cash. Right now, what I have is I have it holding business cards. I have nine business cards in that elastic strap. Now, holding business cards is something that I like having as a feature on the wallet. Inside of the elastic strap are some little sil silicone grippy dots that help hold the cards or the cash in place. And uh, the, the main branding on the wallet is on this elastic strap with a little leather patch with the GL logo. There's a slot in the leather add-on for a card or two maybe, but I, that's where I just keep my driver's license. Um, okay, you know, you gotta pull the driver's license out. Works pretty well there. Besides a driver's license in this, you may want to hold a ID badge or something that gets you inside of your building or something that you access frequently. It's right there on the outside and it slides out just fine. Now the mechanism for getting the cards in and out is just a sliding mechanism. You push up on the, uh, on the metal and the cards come out and you pick which card you want to pay with. The metal is what they call, or what they say is an aerospace material and it's very tough. I'm definitely not worried about my cards when they're inside of this metal wallet. One of the really cool things about this is that in, when the cards are inside of the metal part, it is RFID protected. So your cards are not able to get scanned by an RFID reader. And so that makes this a good option for traveling. 
Now they advertise that this thing can hold six cards in this, in this metal part. There's a caveat with that. It can hold six cards, but they have to be non-embossed cards. Six cards with none of them embossed. Five cards with one embossed. Four cards if they're all embossed. So what that means when they're talking about embossed, it's talking about the, the bumps, the bumps on the car, credit cards, then, you know, that they stick out. And so you can hold fewer cards. Now I tested that. I had five or six cards in here, but then it kind of got stuck and it wouldn't open. And I thought that was a default with the wallet, but it turns out I was just overloading it. Now, is four credit cards enough? Um, you know, that's a personal thing. I happen to think it's not quite enough. Currently, I'm holding four credit cards. The four most common cards that I use, two credit cards and two debit cards. I have a few other cards I like to carry, like health insurance cards, etc. And so it'd be nicer if uh, I could hold more cards. But for right now, I've just left those cards at home. This wallet has a 94-year warranty. Now, I don't know the significance of 94 years. Uh, that's kind of a strange number, but I'm sure there's a reason they chose 94 instead of 100 or 1,000 or 5. But, um, but 94 years, and I really think they probably mean that. They stand with their product, and I, I haven't had to call customer service or contact customer service, but I looked online, I saw other people were having uh, a few questions and a few you know issues with theirs, and uh, I could see the customer service reps were eager to try and get this get those problems solved and that probably involves sending a new product so i believe that they stand by their product for quality now when i was talking about business cards um i tried putting business cards in the wallet part now let's take a couple of these guys and put them in uh they don't fit my business cards are not quite standard business card size they're a little too wide so i tried some regular business cards and they're a little too narrow and they stick up a little too much. So it's not sized for business cards, but you could probably put a couple business cards in the quick slot on the outside here. No problem to put two in there. It's tight, but mm, no, mine don't fit. I can't get I can't get the business cards in the leather part either. Maybe it's just me and I'm kind of nerdy, but how cool would it be if you go to hand somebody a business card and you take it out and you go, just take one. <laughs> That's kind of cool, but it doesn't fit for business cards. Groove Life, uh, if you're listening, maybe you could consider a business card holder that works the same way, but works specifically for business cards. The other thing about putting business cards in a metal case like this is it will protect them from damage. And business cards can get kind of bent up on the corners and sides. And the last thing you want to do is hand somebody a, a busted up business card. Okay, so how can you get your own Groove Life wallet for free? Um, the link in the description goes to my website where the rules and everything uh, are listed and the ways to enter the giveaway. It's all listed. Just follow the link and uh, let's see if you can be the person who gets the black, this one here, the black Groove Life wallet. And if you're interested in that nomadic wallet I mentioned, check this review and coming soon in a couple weeks or probably a month or two, I'm gonna have a review of this little wallet, which is an al alpaca, uh, just a little pouch um, with some extra pockets. I got some keys in here. So I'm interested in, in reviewing this one as well. When I get that video, it'll be on the channel as well. I thank you guys for watching and I uh, hope you have a good day. I'll catch you on the next one.